Optimizing your machine's media flow ensures that you get maximum productivity while consuming the least abrasive. So, let's look at how to do that. Now, this setting is going to change based on your abrasive and pressure, so you need to load up your machine and adjust the pressure to where you want it to be. If you don't know how to do those things yet, search our support to find out. First, let's understand how the abrasive lever actually works. Basically, it controls the rate of media pickup by raising or lowering the outlet pipe. The bigger the gap between the outlet pipe and the inlet jet that sits at the bottom of the cone, the more abrasive and water can be sucked up into the outgoing airstream. Now when the machine is pressurized, the air pressure will want to lift this pipe as high as it'll go, which would use entirely too much abrasive. That's what this knob is for. It simply limits the height of the outlet pipe. We need to start in the locked position and increase flow in quarter turn increments from there until we find the sweet spot. So we need to start with this all the way locked down. In this locked down position, only air will flow through the outlet pipe. I put tape on my knob to make it easier to tell where a quarter turn is and marked the zero point of my outlet pipe so it's easy to see it raising. You'll notice each half turn allows the outlet pipe to rise by about an eighth of an inch, which allows more media and water to get sucked into the outgoing airstream. So, starting at the zero point, we're going to increase flow in quarter turn increments and blast with each new setting. Without media flowing, coatings won't really come off at all, but after two or three quarter turns, you should start to see some removal. Once you see removal, you want to keep increasing the media flow until the removal rate fails to increase. If you open it up another quarter turn and it doesn't blast any faster, turn it back a quarter turn. There's no reason to waste that extra media. Your time is valuable and abrasive is pretty cheap, so you don't want to be too stingy with it. But after a certain point, extra media flow is no longer beneficial. Finding that point is the key to optimizing your flow. Once you've found it, lock it in place with the locking nut so that the vibration doesn't rattle your setting away. You can leave this setting alone until you change your pressure, nozzle, or start using different abrasive. 